get gardening with Jerry. Take it away, Jer. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's me, Jerry. And welcome to technically the first video for my new channel, Let's Get Gardening with Jerry. Okay? Anything on me? And, uh, what this is, now it's still uh, hovering around the mid-40s here in Minnesota, so it's not really a good time to start planting anything. Um, but, I am going to put in, and I'm going to show you how to put in a drip irrigation system. Now, why? Because I have all these hanging baskets that are going to be up along here, and other um, containers that I will have on my deck. And um, with container gardening and stuff like that, uh, they tend to dry out really fast. So, being somebody, and they need to be watered per fairly frequently, especially during the peak uh, hot summer uh, days. Um, and I have a job and I have to be at my job during the day, during the peak of the hot temperatures. So there's a lot of times where I get home and all my flowers and stuff, they are wilting and just about dead. And that happens way too often and it's not good for your plants. So I'm going to put in a drip irrigation system that will be on a timer that will water them several times a day. So, let's get to it, and I'm going to show you step by step how I put in this system. Now, the best uh, thing to do when you're putting these in is uh, start from your water source and work your way out and uh, to your end. It's not a good idea to start uh, at your furthest point and work your way in because you really have no idea uh, what you may add later on. So. Uh, I'm going to be starting right here on my faucet. Okay, the first, first component that uh, I put on is this uh, four-way shutoff valve. Now, the reason for that is because I'm going to have a water timer on one of these, uh, and just most likely this one right here, right? And then I am going to have you know my other garden hoses, at least one here and then possibly another timer to go into another zone on one of these other ones. So I couldn't find a triple, but you never you know, a four is gonna work. And so, like I said, ho uh, timer, uh, garden hose, possibly two, and then another timer. All right, the next part is the timer. Okay, and there's the water timer. And it's off, and then the next part will be the, uh, the first coupling to the irrigation system. Okay, so again, hold on. This is the uh, the first uh, sort of connector that will go on to the water um, water timer. And basically, this what this is is a uh, it's a um, a one-way valve that will let water go that way but it won't let go let it go back that way because everything is going to be like up you know above you don't want that water that is sitting in the line to come flowing back down and back into your water system into your house so it's important to have that so basically that just pushes in like that Then you twist this part over it. And you're good to go. And this will slip right over that.
Okay, so that's ready to go. Now I'm going to take this, uh, the, the main um, source hose, and I'm going to uh, run it and fasten it to along the deck there, right? Underneath the stairs. And then it's going to go all along here, right? And like I said, I'm going to be fastening it, fastening it with like these little uh, U-shaped uh, electrical conduit um, so, sort of hold downs. So, all right. Well, as you can see, we got the first part done, right? The uh, the main water source uh, pipe is all uh, secured and in place going around the, uh, the deck as you see okay okay and the uh, the next step is to feed the actual drip lines up along here and over into there the light the sun's in there but I'm only going to put the drip lines today uh, I'm going to uh, feed them up here over and into where the basket is I'm going to be uh, changing out that basket putting it somewhere else it's going to be more like that one but anyways the reason that I'm doing that is because at this point I mean I know that I'm going to have some uh, some planter some uh, flower pots over here and I'm going to have some uh, of course drip lines up into the planter boxes um, I'm actually going to be rebuilding these planter boxes I'm going to build bigger ones because uh, the reason is because um, these just weren't big enough to hold that much soil and so that uh, the, the flowers actually uh, would soak up all the moisture really fast or the uh, the plant food you know the the nutrients in the soil so I need to make them just a little bit bigger and uh, so and then but I'll have drip lines coming up to there and then of course along here and along there but until I kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna put some flowers I'll wait on those but I know that drip lines are gonna go up there okay say so, so um, here is where I am going to be uh, running my first uh, drip line. It's going to be going up that post over the uh, the hook and then down the chains and into the basket. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put a little uh, junction right here. So here we go. Okay. So. These little, uh, these little uh, sort of junctions here, I'm not sure, uh, emitters is what they're called. There's three different ones that come in this kit. And uh, the three different uh, colors uh, represent like how much water is going to be uh, uh, emitted. There's like uh, the middle, the black one here is sort of like the, the middle, like how many gallons per hour than the red and the blue or more and less. So, uh, being that I really don't know until I start trying uh, how much I really need, I'm going to go ahead and try the black one first. Put that one in. You could always change these out, you know. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to try the black one. So you put this in this tool here like that. And then you uh, supposedly just push in. you hear a pop and it's in and then you put your uh, your drip line hose onto that and that's what we'll do next okay well now that the, uh, the drip line is attached to that I'm gonna go ahead and feed it all the way up here so here we go okay so as you can see I have started there and I ran it up here and I use these uh, these are usually meant for uh, 
you know, for fastening down uh, cable for cable television. But I, uh, I used these to hold this. I ran it up there, ran it up this. that now I'm gonna get some little zip ties and zip tie it onto there and as you see I turned it on just to kind of see you know make sure everything worked and sure enough it does and that's the drip and I can control that drip like I said by putting different uh, little emitters on there I can go slower or I can go uh, faster so it works really good now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one over there. Okay, so I have the other one done. The other side done. Here, as you can see, it's zip tied in there. I gotta trim off little zip ties there. But it goes up there. And, uh, you know, once I uh, paint these posts, you know, to match the rest of the deck, you know, I'll paint over the black there so you won't even see that. And then I went ahead and I did this one as well, and as you can see, uh, zip tied along here, and it comes up, and you can't you can't even you can't even see it, and there you go, and then the baskets will be dripping or they'll be dripping down into there those baskets. So then the, uh, the additional plan is to. Hey dogs, how's it going, doggies? Uh, bury, uh, bury a line here, go along here, and then run a line out to that area right there, where I have a bunch of a bunch of perennials like uh, hostas and ferns that are in this area here, and uh, have this bird bath, which I will have. Uh, probably this uh, shepherd's hook it'll be closer closer here and then I'll have a, a mister that will mist into the uh, into the bird bath okay so that's what the place looks like right now and then very soon it'll be all covered with nice flowers and greenery so now that was basically the the fundamentals or the basics of how to install um, one of these uh, rainbird irrigation systems and then as I uh, start adding on like where my flowers and my containers are gonna go uh, I'll just put little video updates and stuff on there just to show you what it's uh, gonna look like but that's basically it and so I hope this was uh, informative uh, the reason for these um, videos is to share information and uh, I think uh, if uh, I, that's one of the reasons that I like uh, participating in YouTube so much is that it's a uh, an outlet for people to share all kinds of cool stuff all right now a special thanks goes out to Roscoe Soul Train who uh, who did the uh, theme song for this channel and uh, if you want to uh, go check out Ross's uh, other cool stuff, he's got some really funny content on his site. So check out the link below and uh, go check out Ross and have a good time. All right, for now, everybody, bye.